Good morning, stem cells. Today we are going to learn about neurofibrillary tangles, or NFTs. NFTs are primarily composed of aggregated phosphorylated tau proteins and are found within certain neurons. NFTs have been linked to many diseases, one of which is AD, or Alzheimer's disease. Diagnosis of AD is dependent upon NFTs, and disease progression has been correlated to areas of the brain affected by NFTs. But are these assumptions enough to condemn NFTs to the axis of evil? Maybe there is more to this story than meets the eye. Resulting from alternate mRNA splicing, tau is a protein that is found primarily in the cytosol, or cytoplasm, and is sometimes associated with the cell membrane. Its normal function is to help maintain the structural integrity and morphology of neurons by regulating microtubules, which are the backbone of the cytoskeleton. Tau is not necessary for normal cell function, but it is very good at stabilizing microtubules, and tau is regulated through phosphorylation. Normally, tau is hypophosphorylated, or underphosphorylated, which allows it to bind to microtubules. When tau becomes hyperphosphorylated, or overphosphorylated, this greatly reduces its ability to bind to microtubules, and the tau accumulates into NFTs. NFTs have historically been viewed as playing a key role in mental deficits associated with AD, and is usually assumed to be a neurotoxic agent. NFTs have been shown to inhibit microtubule assembly and cause the disassembly of already intact microtubules. NFTs are also thought to compromise microtubule stability and function, which is the opposite of one of normal tau's jobs. NFTs disrupt compartments that are essential for normal metabolism. Too much tau can lead to changes in the shape of neurons, retarded cell growth, and can change the distribution of organelles within the cell that rely on microtubule transport. Furthermore, an increase in the number and localization of NFTs has been correlated to an increase in the level of dementia. All of this information makes it seem like nothing good could possibly come from having NFTs in your brain. But this is not the whole picture. NFTs are seen in many different diseases, so maybe hyperphosphorylated tau and NFTs play an alternative role. Could it be that they come about in response to the disease and are not the cause? NFTs might not have a very big impact on the viability of neurons because many neurons with NFTs appear to survive for decades. Hippocampal neurons containing NFTs survive for 20 plus years. The ratio of NFTs that collect in neurons is far less than the number of neurons that are lost. NFTs might occur decades before neuron death and are not directly related to neuron degeneration. What other functions could NFTs serve if they are not the harbingers of death? NFTs could protect critical cellular components from attack and destruction by reactive oxygen species, or ROSs. Oxidative damage is one of the earliest events in AD, and as the disease progresses in NFTs form, the amount of oxidative damage actually decreases. Maybe this is the true function of NFTs, reducing damage associated with ROS. Tau phosphorylation, or production of NFTs, is upregulated and NFTs are changed by oxidative stress. The reduced oxidative damage in neurons showing NFTs may be a direct result of an antioxidant function of the NFTs. This may represent NFT formation as a naturally occurring process that is associated with neuroprotective mechanisms. One of the rationales for NFTs being so evil was that the phosphorylated tau they contain can no longer bind to microtubules and leads to their destruction and neurodegeneration. Contrary to this claim, studies have shown that mice lacking the ability to produce the tau protein develop normally and there is no change in neuron function. This suggests that NFT formation is likely not a cause of neurodegeneration or the reduction in microtubule assembly. So, are NFTs the almighty protector or the unyielding enemy? Do they cause AD, or are they there to decrease the damage that the disease may cause? Sadly, we do not know the true answer to this question just yet. There are thoughts that phosphorylated tau and NFTs could behave similarly to phosphorylated cytokeratins, which are a response to heat shock, toxins, and other stressors. To support the role of supervillain, there are data that show mutations in tau can lead to neurodegeneration. The actual truth may lie somewhere in the middle. Phosphorylated tau may be toxic, 
but its conversion into NFTs might prevent the phosphorylated tau from doing any damage. But if this is the new truth, why do most AD-related neuronal deaths have no tau phosphorylation events? In order to answer the questions we have proposed, new research and experimentation is needed. What if the prevailing theory that NFTs are the worst of the worst leads to therapeutic strategies that reduce tau phosphorylation in NFT formation? And what if this turns out to interfere with a natural stress response? We would most likely be doing much more harm than good.